Morning. Welcome to Slowpoke Travel. Going to do a little jawing today about the Appalachian Trail. I was looking at some of our old footage uh, from a trip that Camera Girl and I took in 2012. We hiked for a couple of months on the AT, which was the last time that I went for a hike. Prior to the 2012 trip, I think I had gone in 2003. And before that was probably 1999. And then I had a lot of different hikes in the 1990s. The first trip I took on the Appalachian Trail was in 1990. And I hiked from uh, Georgia up to Harpers Ferry, which is the psychological midpoint of the Appalachian Trail. It isn't exactly in the uh, center, but it's it's considered the center because it's close and then they have the Appalachian Trail Conference, Appalachian Trail Center. I don't know. It's been so long since I was there, I can't even remember. I hiked the first half of the trail one year and then the following year I hiked um, most of the second half. My goal was to hike the entire half the second year. Actually, my goal was to hike the entire trail in one go as a through hiker, but I injured my knee and had knee surgery you know, probably about six months before I was supposed to go uh, on my backpacking trip. So I ended up postponing my trip and getting a late start. So I was only able to do half the trip. You know, things happen, things always happen in life. But it turned out for the best because it was a different kind of trip because I didn't actually start from Springer Mountain until I think it was the beginning of July. And many folks who were gonna do a through hike uh, start at the beginning of April, end of March, beginning of April. That way they have enough time to get to the terminus in Maine, you know, 2,100 miles later before uh, the weather gets too cold. So they've got, you know, a nice five or six months to get through the trail. But I started in July from Springer Mountain and I'm a slow hiker, so I'll you know, I was lucky. I think I ended up getting into uh, Harper's Ferry in October. And so I came back the next year and I started a little south of Harper's Ferry, rehiked the Shenandoahs. And then I was going to go all the way up to Maine, but I was running out of money. And I had an opportunity to get a job. I walked into this little town in New Hampshire to buy groceries. And there was an advertisement up in the grocery store. And they were looking, it said, I think it want, they wanted a part-time uh, part innkeeper, part-time housekeeper. I forget how they worded it, but it was basically I was the assistant to the fellow who was running this bed and breakfast. So I would help uh, cook and serve breakfast, and I would do the housekeeping. And in, in return, I think I got $75 a week and room and board. So I ended up getting that job and not finishing the trail. So instead of hiking for another month and being at the end of the trail broke, I ended up spending a couple of months in the White Mountains in New Hampshire working at this bed and breakfast. Didn't make a lot of money, but I got a little bit and it was easily one of the best jobs I've ever had in my life. In fact, it kind of got me high on bed and breakfast and I've worked at a couple of bed and breakfast since then. and those have turned out to be my favorite jobs. In fact, I worked at a bed and breakfast while we were in Seattle, and that was a fantastic job. The thing is, when you're working in a bed and breakfast, well, oftentimes it's so small. And if you're doing the cooking like I was doing in Seattle, then you kind of have the run of the kitchen by yourself. But I'm getting, a, this is off the subject, which is the Appalachian Trail. But April's about to roll around, and I wonder if folks are lining up at the start of the trail for a through hike this year. It's going to be a strange year. But hiking the trail really set the tone for most of my life because it got me thinking seasonally. Because I would end up working seasonal jobs, then going backpacking for a season, then going and working another season somewhere else. And that kind of got me into cooking and the hospitality industry because those kind of jobs, you can just kind of step into them, you know, especially if it's a seasonal type area where 
they're particularly busy at certain times of year. You can go get a job, they're happy to employ you for the upcoming season, and then at the end of the season when you're ready to hit the road, they're happy to see you go because business is about to fall off. So it really works out. I used to jump between Wyoming and Florida because of the Florida winter season. You know, they would need more folks, you know, working in restaurants. And then in the summertime, I'd head out to Wyoming and work, do some resort work out there. Same thing in New Orleans. Uh, I lived a lot in New Orleans. I lived a, a few years year round in New Orleans. Uh, but I would work winters in New Orleans and head out to Wyoming. Wyoming for me was a big place to do resort work because there are so many, you know, you got the uh, Yellowstone National Park. You got a lot of uh, parks in that area, a lot of seasonal work, a lot of resorts. Even in the wintertime, you know, I did, I worked some ski resorts and snowmobile resorts, uh, which was interesting. Cured me of my love of snow. <laughs> but I am thinking about the trail a lot. I'm going to upload some of our trail footage. I think for the next couple of weeks, you know, you might see some Appalachian Trail related videos popping up. I think I'll put them up over here on our travel channel. And if you have an interest in changing your life, I can't think of a, a more dramatic way to do it than hiking on the Appalachian Trail. It's hard. Man, it's hard and it can be depressing and it can be demoralizing. But it's easily the best thing I ever did. Well, the smartest decision I ever made easily was uh, quitting my job when I was a kid and, and heading off to hike the Appalachian Trail and I just re returned to the trail year after year, you know, over the decade. And hopefully I've got another trip in me at some point. I've hiked the whole trail except for Maine. I've never set foot in the state of Maine. Maybe one of these days. I hope my knees got another long trip in them. I've always had bad knees though. And I've always been a super duper slow hiker. You know, it's funny, you'd see people on the trail and it was never the most fit athletic people that did the best for long distance hiking. Long distance hiking isn't about physicality. It's about being able to handle it upstairs because you, you have to be alone with your own thoughts a lot of the time. Even when you're hiking with other people, you're still you're still by yourself a lot. So it's hard to get away from your brain when you're hiking. So you need to be mentally prepared more than physically prepared. I mean just hiking. Just the hiking alone will get you into shape. But first it'll break you down. <laughs> but uh, it's an excellent uh, weight loss routine, that's for sure. Anywho, just rambling away today. But I hope everyone's doing great, and we'll talk to you in the future. Bye-bye.